So, question for you. Do I have a beard? Like, this hair growing out of the bottom of my head. Is that a beard? I, that might sound like a dumb question. It probably is a dumb question, but there's a reason that I'm asking. But first, I want to get your consensus. So, if you can let me know your opinion about whether I have a beard or not in the comments, or like, if you know me in real life, let me know in real life, I guess. And then in the next video, I'll explain why I'm asking. And that's right, I said next video because I'm making videos again. At least three of them. I got this new camera and it came with a vlogging handle. Look at this! Whoa! It's my real life! It's so immediate! Wow! You're in the moment! It's like you're right here in the room! Whoa! Subscribe today! Excuse me while I get ready for work. Um, so, since my last video, I have released a new book, which I kind of made a video to tell you about, um, but it's out now. It's called Best News Ever, and basically, if you're looking for a way to get into the Bible for yourself and figure out what it actually says about Jesus, this is designed to kind of help you do that. Basically, I've broken up Mark's biography of Jesus into a hundred easy little readings with some extra stuff to help you understand what it all means and how to like apply it to life today. So if you're interested, um, I'll leave some links to the first video I made with more details and to some places where you can get it. And if you have got it already, first of all, thank you. Um, it's been really exciting hearing how this book has been um, helpful to people and how people have been enjoying it. One thing you can really do to help the book out is um, if you go to one of the, like if you've already bought the book, if you go to one of those links to uh, a website that sells it and leave a review, that is super helpful also because it helps other people discover the book. So you can do that if you want. Meanwhile, the mystery of whether or not I have a beard is not the only case I'm trying to crack right now. Um, a couple of weeks ago, this is a dumb story, but I'm going to tell it to you anyway. A couple of weeks ago, um, I was hanging out with my cousins Phil and David. Phil, who's been on this channel a bunch before, Sushi Go Phil, and David, who I used to write the Gateway series with. Anyway, so Phil brings along a box of these. Chick, chick, chickadees chicken flavored fun and he was kind of excited because he was like they're shaped like chickens and so they're not just any snack they're a chicken shaped chicken flavored snack we open the box and lo and behold they're not shaped like chickens they're just shaped like little fat sticks but phil was like no they used to be chickens i promise you they used to be chicken shaped chicken flavored snacks and i noticed they had one of those like old school reply paid mailing addresses, like a physical mailing address where you can write them an actual letter with like a pen. I found this massive card from Kiki K and I wrote them a message. Dear Snack Brands Australia, how are you? I am fine, thanks. I have an important question about your chick chick chickadees chicken flavored fun snacks. Did they used to be chicken shaped? My snack friend says they used to be chicken shaped, but I think he's thinking of chicken in a biscuit. Could you please help us out with this problem? I would hate to lose a snack friend over this. Thanks in advance. Yours faithfully, the Snack Boys. I posted the letter in like a mailbox with my actual hands. And then, a week later, they actually replied. And I think they think I was like a small child? Um, which is fair enough. I did write them a card. Um, and the letter is addressed to Mr. Snack Boys. Dear Snack Boys, thank you for writing to us. In beautiful handwriting, we must add. Your question about the product being chicken shaped is not that unusual, actually. We get this from time to time. Whoever says they were chicken shaped is incorrect. 
They have never been shaped like a chicken. They have always been a rod shape. Thank you for taking the time to contact us. We hope this resolves the issue for you and you can go back to being the best of snack friends. So that's nice, but here's the thing. While we were waiting for a reply to this letter, Phil got onto YouTube and did some searching and he found this. Hey chickadees, why so blue? I'm chickadee chicken, I got something for you. New chicken chickadees are out of sight. They're really cosmic. Here, take a bite. Wow, real chicken flavor. Real chicken shape. Real chicken shape. Real chicken shape. So what's going on? Am I being lied to? Is this one big rod shaped cover up? Or did the person who wrote that letter not even know that that was ever a thing? What is going on? Well, I... I'm gonna write back to them and find out and I will keep you posted because I'm I'm sure you're as on the edge of your seat as I am to find out why the good people at Snack Brands Australia would give false information to some humble snack boys. You're the Lord of light, shining in the dark.